Today is the final day of Human Trafficking Awareness Month and law enforcement agencies are working and reporting an increased number of people arrested in connection to the crime compared to previous years. Not in your size, Megan Meyer spoke with the Tucson Sector of Homeland Security about the key warning signs that parents and kids they should look out for. In 2021, the U.S. Department of Homeland Security made over 2,300 arrests related to human trafficking. That's around 600 more than the previous year. It is a common activity that a lot of people don't realize is going on. Uh, human trafficking is something that's very much beneath the surface. Tammy Breitsky works as a special agent for the Tucson Sector of Homeland Security. Part of her job is to prevent situations of human trafficking before they even happen. We see a lot of online activity right now. That's how a lot of the recruitment is done, especially when we're talking about our kiddos, right? Our juveniles, they are on all kinds of social media apps and we're seeing traffickers recruit them and advertise them on those social media platforms. The new Tucson nonprofit Power Over Predators is helping get that message to parents. Lisa Hansen is leading up the effort as a survivor. I didn't want the same life for my boys that I had had when it came to just all of the different things that I experienced. I always asked myself, what if somebody had come and talked to me about these very relevant things that I'm going through. Power Over Predators is focusing on education, communicating with parents and their kids about the dangers and warning signs. We can teach kids how to identify predators online. That's when we've done our job well. The Department of Homeland Security recommends keeping a close eye on your child's social media and any other technology that they may use to communicate with people outside trusted family and friends. Pay attention to their social media. Traffickers are controlling their victims, um, both on a physical and a mental and emotional level. They will control them. So those are signs that you can look for. Megan Meyer, Kaga 9 on your side. And here's what you should know about how the Internet can affect your kids. 88% of sex trafficking cases start or develop on the Internet. And by the age of 14, just under half of teens have sent a sex. And those teens are five times more likely to attempt suicide. The Justice Department says that sextortion is the fastest growing threat to your kids.